the great. And we're going to have your weekend forecast. All right, Rick, thank you. Well, less than 24 hours until the unveiling of the newest Apple product, the iPhone. If you haven't heard about the latest tech craze coming out of Silicon Valley, then Apple somehow missed you. News Channel 7's Scott Evans gives us a preview of what we can expect at tomorrow's unveiling. Scott? D, as Apple advertises, this is much more than a phone and says it will revolutionize the cell phone industry. Now the price of the phone is turning some people away, but many Apple faithful plan on getting their hands on one, one way or another. This is how you turn it on. Seems easy enough, right? You only use your fingers on this phone. It's Apple. They like to keep things simple. But it's simple enough to get people to spend five or six hundred dollars? The phone I got works great. I have no reason to have all that. <laughs> so what do you get for all that money? You get a place to play all your music, a place to Never watch all your videos, can do a place to view all your photos. You get the internet, and oh yeah, it's also this. a phone. The iPhone is easily the most hyped gadget ever. So much hype has been created that some people have been camping out. But if you're thinking about camping, you had better think of another plan because the three stores in the area selling the phone aren't allowing it. One Boise man has a plan utilizing a friend to get his phone. I'm going to pay him $10 an hour to stand in line, and he's on call beginning today. Whenever I make the phone call, he's going to come over here and, and get in line. The AT&T stores on Broadway and Milwaukee are the only two stores in Boise selling the phone. One more store on Caldwell Boulevard in Nampa will have the new device on hand as well. So if you're planning on getting the iPhone, the AT&T stores will close their doors tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 and reopen them for the unveiling at 6. For me, it's going to be more of a toy. I'm a techno freak, so I'm looking for something that I can really enjoy as opposed to just work, but it will be for work too. Whether people buy them for work or play, Apple expects to sell 10 million by the end of 2008. So if the iPhone looks like a must-have for you, but the price is a little bit too high, try and get a job with Apple because Steve Jobs plans on giving iPhones to all 17,000 plus employees once this initial rush is over. Wow, that's a nice benefit. Thank you very much, Scott. Well, it's a pretty low tech, but it also created a frenzy. Hundreds of volunteers helping hundreds of children. Today, over 250 volunteers worked together at the